Welcome back to the channel and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be doing an absolute beginner's introduction to chain physics in Blender. This is very very simple and you can see over here this is some of the examples we're going to be working with. So one will just be these chains that kind of like fall like this and then we'll just do a quick little example of a little wrecking ball chain over here and it's really really simple nothing complicated it's just modeling a very simple link of chains and then adding some very simple physics to it with some basic properties so if you want to learn um, how to do chain physics as a beginner in blender watch this video and i'll show you step by step just how simple it is to do this in blender jumping into a new scene in blender let's select all the default objects and press delete and we're going to go shift a we're going to go to our mesh options and just add in a torus and then let's tab into edit mode Inside of edit mode, we're going to our front view and we'll go RX90 and hit enter. And then what we can do, come up here to our X-ray toggle, turn it on. I'm going to click and drag. And we're just going to select the top half of this torus. And we're going to go E to extrude and Z and then constrain it to the Z axis. And let's bring it up to make our chain link. I'm going to go up about this much. Press A to select everything and then go G and Z and move the whole thing down. Just our origin point sits more closer to the center. And now we have a chain link. Let's go over back into object mode. Let's turn off the X-ray toggle. We can right click and go shades move. And at the moment, this chain link is really large. So what we can do is we can go S.25 and hit enter. So now it's only a quarter of the size. So S.25. And because we scaled it, we need to go Control A and let's come over here and just apply the scale. So Control A or Command A and apply the scale. That way it won't mess up our physics. Now let's go Shift D to duplicate and Z and move one up to about here. And with it active, we're going to go R, Z, and 9, 0. I'm going to hit Enter. There we go. And now we have these two chain links. So let's select both of them. Let's go Shift D to duplicate and Z and let's move it up and click adding it in just right over here. And now all you have to do is go Shift R and repeat that action as many times as you want. So I'm gonna go about this many chains. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these chains, but holding in Shift, we're gonna just select one of them to make it the main active chain link. In this case, we'll choose the one at the top. And then we're gonna go over to our physics. We're gonna go ahead and give this a rigid body. And we're going to leave it as active, but we're going to come here to the collision and the shape, we're going to make it mesh. And then to have all of them have that same property, we can just type F3 on our keyboard. So press F3 and then type in copy from and click on copy from active. And now all of these links have that exact same rigid body modifier with the same properties. So now if we go over to our um, timeline here and come to frame one and we hit the space bar, all of these chains fall, but let's make it a bit more interesting. So we're gonna go shift A, let's go to our mesh options, add in a plane and let's go S to scale it up. Then go control A and apply that scale. And let's also just select all of our chain links like so and go G, Z and just move them up. So they're sitting on here and let's grab this floor Let's go over to our physics and give it a rigid body. The type will make it passive so it stays in place. And then let's come here to the shape and we can actually just leave it as convex tall. So now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we can see our chain falls like so. There we go, it's interacting. Now we can get a lot more creative with this. So let's say for example, we wanna take this chain. So I'm gonna grab the whole bunch of chains on frame one I'm going to go R to rotate them and we'll place them right over here. And let's say we grab this top chain link. Then we can go over to our rigid body and let's change that one then to passive. So now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we can see that the chain just swings from that top one there. Pretty cool. How awesome is that? And we can have a lot more fun of it. We can go back to frame one and let's grab some of these bottom chain links like so, and let's go Shift D to duplicate them, R to rotate them, and let's place this one in here, like so. And then coming from frame one, let's hit the space bar, and now we got more chains hanging. So this really is how simple chain physics are in Blender. 
Um, let's go back to frame one. I'll show you another example. I'll grab maybe just some of these top chain links here. And this one at the top is the one that's passive. So I'm going to go Shift D just to duplicate it, move it over and rotate it like so. And then I'll just grab these two here and go Shift D to duplicate them down. Something like that. There we go. And then what we can do is we can grab this bottom link, tab into edit mode and go Shift A. Just add in a UV sphere and it's added it over here to the world center. But I'm just going to move it over here. I'm going to scale it down like so. And in the side view, I'm going to make sure it matches. I'm going to tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. And then from frame one, we can now hit the space bar. And now we have this cool looking wrecking ball. And I can grab this one over here, which I could animate if I wanted to. So I'm going to grab this link up here at the top, come to frame one. I'm going to press I to insert a keyframe. Then I'm going to come to frame 50 and I'm going to go G and move it over. And I'm going to go I and insert a keyframe. So now if I go to frame one and I hit the space bar, you see nothing happens and this is expected. So we can take this link and because we've given it animation data with this link here, we'll just go to our physics and we'll go and enable animate it. So now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, you can see this follows along. And there we have it. So this is a very simple beginner's introduction to chain physics in Blender. I really hope you have enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.